Hey there, folks. Welcome to the land where everything is about as stable as a tower made of Jenga blocks during an earthquake. Today we'll be covering all the best ways you can spend your precious digital doll hairs to have the most fun and rest. So grab your questionably prescribed methamphetamine and let's dive into the world of paying to fun. Now, Rust as a whole can offer quite a variety of silly activities for you and your friends to participate in. But one of the best ways you can get ahead of the poor, <coughs> sorry, worse off players, is to buy the factory door skin. The great thing about this door is that for only half an hour of a minimum wage job, you can have your very own peephole to the wild west and beyond. Yeah. Another great way to blow your greeny beanies is to purchase the Arctic Pack. What's great about this pack is you get a great skin plus two useless ones. And on top of that, you get to cough up $13. So if you often find yourself in the snow with no clothes warm enough to provide you proper cold resistance, then spending that money to not die every 30 seconds can be a worthwhile investment. Now since you're already 18 bucks in the hole, you may as well spend another $13 on this multifunctional build skin otherwise known as the shipping container. What's great about this skin is that while it does allow you to turn your base into a Barbenheimer house of your dreams, it also gives you the option to color your base pure white and blend in with the snow, or green to blend in with the forest. Now, if you're in crippling debt like me, there's a more budgeting alternative. This is known as the kelp rug, which on the marketplace is going for the same price as a pack of spearmint gum. And while it only comes in a green color, it can bring you some secluded secrecy from the pesky raiders. Not only that, but if you're able to get both, the combination of the two skins makes for a stupendous combo. Speaking of pay to win, this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Stop! Dude, what? what are you doing? You're not even sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. They wouldn't sponsor this crap. But how many I pay off my debt? Do you have any money? I mean... Well, yeah. Aight then. Run them pockets. Hey, whoa, whoa, okay, come on now. Hey, easy, 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 easy. Here, look. This is this is what you're looking for, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Hey, man. Yeah. Hey, hey. Look. Oh, oh. Look. Hey, hey. I. Now, hey, look, look, I'm peaceful. Now I'm turn peaceful. around. Yeah. There you I'm go. Peaceful. I'm peaceful. Hey. Now, think of the rabbits, George. Wait. Are you gonna? Sorry about that, folks. Moving on. The last method of pay to fun involves a very recent addition called the Abyss Pack. This pack provides a multitude of skins ranging from a pickaxe, a hatchet, an AK, and even a hazmat skin that looks like it should let you breathe underwater, but doesn't at all. But what we're really here for in this pack is a torch. What makes this item very special is its ability to function underwater. Now while some may argue you could just use a flashlight, it's more so useful in that it's an item you spawn with, meaning if you want to play low key and go for underwater crates during the nighttime, being unable to see is now a thing of the past. Just remember, deciding what pay to fun items you get depends on how you play as a person, so I can only hope that one of these helps you become the best money spender in all of Rust. Or at least until the next server wipe. Hey! I didn't find the rabbits, motherfucker. Hey! You! I don't like you. I don't like looking at you. This is it. This is it for you, pal. This is not very nice, mister. Ow. Ooh. The bluey. Oh, no. Hey, hey now, hey now, friend. Whoa, okay, let's... Uh, hey, you know, what I said on the rock back there, I really didn't mean that, son. You know, I think we should really start a really nice villa. Hey, well, 